may not know this situation, um, I'll give a little bit of backstory before we play the clip. So uh, Joe Budden um, has been going at Drake like crazy. You feel me? Not, not even really going at him, but really just critiquing his 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 music and his album. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say that those comments were kind of uh, uh, personal. Right. However, during that, you know, during his critique of Drake, he made a comment about Drake is he, he tried to relate Drake's music failing because instead of him tapping in with rappers, he's tapping in with Kai Sinat. And before I play the clip, I want to make this very, very clear. We are this this era we living in the streaming era tapping in with these streamers like Aiden and Kai and, and Speed or whatever. This is the new way to promote your music. That my the old the old way of doing shit is out the window. So that's why Joe Budden needs to kind of you know get more get more in tune with the times. But let's play this clip of uh Kai. I mean uh, Joe Budden kind of throwing a shot and then Kai Kai Sinat responded. Not these little kids. I don't give a fuck about you and Kai Sinat. That's going to sound like hate. It is. It's not. It's not. <laughs> they start playing the music. Yeah, you see how he just kind of threw, threw his name. So so just some context to this clip. He was, ref he was referring to Drake tapping in with Kai Sinat after his album release instead of tapping in with other rappers. But like I was saying... We live in an era where these streamers is kind of the the gateway to to the audience to the audience nowadays. But I, I obviously uh, Joe Budden is not aware of that. But for the rappers, I miss the Drake that when he dropped, the rappers hit him. Not these little okay. I don't give a about you and Kai Sinat. That's gonna sound like hate. It is. It is. It's not hate. It is. It is. Go find some is your fucking age. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Joe. Yo, Joe, <laughs> let me tell you something, Joe. Hey, look, hey, look, Joe. You know why my, my, my mom was like all over the place with this one, Joe? Because I be minding my mother fucking business, my nigga. And somehow I always catch a fucking stray. I did my research on the nigga. <laughs> including my name and everything he has to say. The nigga is always saying something bad about me. Bro, this nigga, this man, we saw the same man who said he was ecstatic to see me get arrested and go to jail. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it, man. I just I just had to bring this to the people, man. It's 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 to me, it shows how some of these old school rappers are not in tune with the new age of doing things. You feel me? Like tapping in with Kai Sinat, audience, somebody who gets tens of thousands of live viewers. And, you know, we've seen, we seen people like Blueface. We've seen people like Offset. Um, uh, What's his name? Uh, uh, fuck, why well, can't I think of the nigga name? Uh, There's a lot of rappers. Uh, 21 Savage. Uh, a lot of a lot of rappers, a lot of rappers. I can't name them all, but it's a right. lot of rappers that have tapped in with Kai Sinat and Aiden, and and, and it's, it it helps you open up those doors to a new audience. So it just shows how out of touch Joe Budden is with this new era of hip hop and music and, and a promotion and advertising and marketing. He he just it shows how out of touch he is. So what's what's your thoughts on that, Brett? Uh, Mike? Is you know who's in the wrong man and is 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 Joe Budden out of touch? Uh, Joe Budden's been out of touch. Been, <laughs> this is Mr. Pump It Up. Yeah. Uh, he's been out of touch. Um, I think the closest he's been to being in touch with the culture is when he was doing the whole Slaughterhouse uh thing, right? Um, uh, with Eminem and them and Royce the Five Nine, Crooked Eye, um, what's his name? Uh, Joey, Joey something. I forget his name. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, shouts out to him now because I, I still remember his name, but I can't remember his name. But it's Joey something. Um, and yeah, people like that. But I think that that was the closest that he was ever as far as being in tune with the culture. That's the closest yeah. he got. And that was really because of all of them. And that's because of the BT ciphers and stuff right. like that that was going on at that time. But other than that, I will say I don't feel like Joe Budden should be uh, criticized for him having an opinion because i feel like 
a lot of people don't fuck with Kai Sinat or like, you know what I mean? As far as like, yeah, right. they, they may be older, you know, the older generation or whatever, but um, uh, he he's just speaking his mind. He has a big platform. Joe Button has a big platform. He's going to speak his mind. He's going to bring, and I, and that in particular clip, I don't, I don't, I think that that was really him being jealous of the fact that Drake, that's him saying that he's jealous of the fact that Drake is going on Kai Sinat rather than going yeah. on the Joe Budden podcast. Right. So he's basically saying, point. 